Hello, friends. Hello, it's Matthew here from our Early On Center, and I've got a wonderful story for us all today. I, I know I say I have a wonderful story for us every time, but I really like these stories, and I, I really hope that you're enjoying them too. So today we have, what do you... <clears throat> so today we have... What do you do with a chance? Hmm. And you know, you might think that this cover, this book, looks a little familiar. Maybe the sound of the title sounds a little familiar. Well, What Do You Do With a Chance is written by Kobe Yamada. And it's illustrated by Mae Bessem. And if you think that those names sound familiar too, it's because if you look back in our older videos, We've already read to you, we've shared with you, what do you do with an idea? And what do you do with a problem? That's right. So this is, what do you do with a chance? One day I got a chance. It just seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me as if it wanted something. I didn't know what, why, I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance? I wondered. It fluttered around me. It brushed up against me. It circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I, I started I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and, and pulled back. And so it flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken the chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. I went to reach for it, but oof, I missed and I fell. I was embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I just ignored it. And the more I ignored them, the less the chances came around. Until one day I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all disappeared. I started to worry. What if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was, I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid. And I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. Then I thought, Maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while, at the right time. I realized it was up to me.
I promised myself that I, if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shining, shining far off in the distance. Is, is it possible? <gasps> Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard and as fast as I could toward it. I didn't know how to explain it, but the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now, my excitement was bigger than my fear. And as I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. But this time I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and I grabbed it and I held on with all my might. It felt so good to soar, to fly and to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out. And I don't want to miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So what do you do with a chance? You take it because it just might be the start of something incredible. My friends, that was the end of What Do You Do With a Chance? Again, written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Besom. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, if you see a chance, take it, right? Bye for now.